Today in art, you will learn a drawing trick to make something flat look 3D. We'll learn how to make a hand or another shape look like it's busting off the page with just lines. And we'll talk about an amazing art form called op art. So what is op art? Op stands for optical, which means your eyes. Do you see this gray rectangle with the little bar in the middle? That bar is the same gray all the way across. I know what? The color behind it changes and that tricks our eyes into thinking it's fading out. This illusion is called the Herman grid. See the white circles where the lines meet? Do you see little black spots appearing? They're not really there. It's just your eyes adjusting to the light. Op artists sometimes try to create movement. See these circles? Stare, stare at them. They're not moving at all. So how do op artists do this? This artist, Bridget Riley, makes the paper look almost like it's bending towards the middle. But all it is are straight lines that get skinnier as you get towards that spot. A couple famous op artists are Victor Vassarelli, who was big in the 50s and 60s. He made these bulging circles and played with lines to make it look like there were shapes kind of busting out of the paper. Here's a little bit more of his work. Again, just lines, just color, just shape. There was also Bridget Riley, who was really big in the 60s. She made all these curving, wiggling lines that made it look like the paper was moving or vibrating. It kind of hurts your eyes if you look at it for too long. And lastly, here's an installation by an artist working right now. His name is Daryl Carey. He makes these out of tape. All you're seeing are just lines of tape. And of course, this is sped up. So check out how he transforms these flat walls into something that looks three-dimensional. Are you ready to create some op art of your own? All you need is a pencil and a paper for this one. This picture with some step-by-steps is on your Schoology page to look at. Start off by drawing either your hand or a simple shape. I'm gonna show you a hand first. Make sure that when you trace your hand, you're holding your pencil straight up and down. If you hold your pencil kind of crooked and push it in, Check out how skinny your hand will look afterwards. It's kind of sad, right? Once you've traced your hand or drawn a simple shape, keep it super simple, heart, star, you know, simple animal head, you're gonna draw the lines. If you have a ruler, use it. I don't have a ruler at home, so I'm gonna use the edge of this whiteboard. You could use the edge of a notebook, um, anything that makes a straight line. Start at the top of your paper, Line your straight thing up with the top and start drawing across. Try to leave the same-ish amount of space between each one. And if one of your lines is super crooked, go ahead and erase it. You want them to be as straight as we can make them. Once you get to the parts of your hand, here's what you do. You draw, hop over your finger, draw, hop over your finger. Keep going for the next line. Hop over the fingers and just draw lines outside. I'm gonna draw the rest of it freehand just to show you that that's possible too. Just, you can already notice it's not quite as straight. And again, if any of your lines is really crooked, go ahead and erase it. It's worth it in the end. Now we're gonna start the illusion part of the process. We're gonna make curves wherever the hand appears on the paper. Some mistakes that kids make when they do this project is either they'll not curve the line enough and it'll be too flat, or they'll curve it too much and it'll just look crazy. So as a guide, when you draw your curve, maybe it goes up to almost where the next line starts. That's a good height. Try to make them the same as close as you can. It starts on one side 
ends on the other line you drew. And again, if it if it's really not matching with the others, erase it, fix it up, keep it going. Here's the tricky part as we get towards the fingers. Keep going, that's all one shape. And then the thumb starts to happen. Now we got a bump where the finger stops and then just keep our bump going, guess to here. Same thing, okay? Now we're on the each finger. Make each finger nice and bumpy. Make sure to start at the line, end at the line. Start at the line, bump, end at the line. Now it's time to add color. You can use any material you want. I'm gonna use these markers and I'm holding it kind of sideways to make a thicker, smoother line. I'm trying to get rid of all the white space and I was getting a little bit confused, so I'm kind of going around the hand first and then filling in the curves. It was easier for my brain. Also, if you're doing a pattern, go one color at a time. Let's try some other materials too. If all you have is a Sharpie or a pen, just add tons more lines between your lines, shade around the outside with pencil and it'll look a little bit 3D. If you wanna use colored pencil, do again one color at a time and go really lightly at first. Then push harder around the edges of your hand with each color. That way it looks like the hand is lighter and coming up out of the page. Here's the same idea using crayon and sort of mixed materials. I'm making darker color outside of the shape. That makes the light color look like it's floating. I wasn't super happy with it, so I used a black pen and smudged it to make it look like it was coming out even more. And because I like that effect, I'm adding some black crayon around my uh, marker hand too, but you don't have to do that. Guys, the coloring takes a while. It's kind of hard work, but it looks so cool and I can't wait to see.